Hey crafty cuties, welcome to today's video. Today I have some more happy mail to share with you. I hope that you guys aren't getting sick of these videos. They're just really easy for me to film right now. I've always liked sharing with you what you guys send me. Um, I also have some things that I purchased from Amazon. I thought I would share that with you because a lot of these things are like really good prices and if you have a shop or something, a lot of them are like packaging things so I wanted to pass that along. Um, and I'm going to get started. So the first thing that I have is from someone really special who has been kind of talking to me for a while, like since January, and um, she sent me some happy mail. Her name is Fatima, which I hope I'm saying right. I like tried to practice that 20 times before I filmed this. And I was like, pretty sure I'm saying it wrong. But anyway, she does have an Etsy shop and she's just getting started. My friend Selena from Amore Fabrics, uh, also mentioned her because she had actually bought some bohemian beads from her, I think. And so um, if you already know Selena, then you may have heard of her newer shop, but she was so sweet to send me a few things. She also, which was really special, she sent me a card and like wrote me out a really like pretty long letter. She mentioned in here, she was like, you do not need to show this stuff on camera. Um, so that was kind of nice of her, like, to point that out. She, she wasn't just sending this stuff to me to share with you guys because she has a shop. She was literally just sending it to me to be so kind. And so I was like, well, you know what? I just love sharing everything with you guys, so I wanted to. She sent me a whole thing of, um, eyelash trim here. And so I kind of already mentioned she makes bohemian beads. And so the reason that her and I ta started talking a while ago is because she heard I was doing a bohemian kit. And let me just show you how she packages this up. Magnolia Seed is her Etsy shop name. She contacted me because she makes these gorgeous beads. She's just starting out her shop. And she was hoping that we could collab together for my kit because as you guys know, I usually am collabing with other shops and including them um, but sadly enough, I just, I wasn't able to do that this time around. Not to say I didn't like purchase some things from shops, but I didn't do it as a collaboration because it was just going to save me a lot of time and money, honestly. And I was just wanting to kind of do this one solo with my mom and I, but regardless to say these are gorgeous and I would have been super lucky if I would have been able to include her in the kits. And I was super excited that she had just sent these things to me just for me. So not only did she send me that one made, she also offered to help with the, my kits, by the way, which was so sweet, but I already had like my little bead packs um, made up. So she also um, sent me all kinds of things packaged up so that I could make my own beads. Like this is for my personal use. And if you guys don't know, she, or not that you would, but she actually hand rolls the bases of her beads out of paper. And I just am so blown away by that because that would take so long. And I think it's so cool that she made some that are even started for me, which was so sweet because I don't get a lot of time to craft for myself lately. And so I actually already dug into this bag. She sent me all kinds of trims and things like that. Um, and I did check her shop right before posting this video and she actually had some of these beads in her shop. So if you are looking to get some uh, bohemian beads for a really great price, you guys, and I mean, you can see they're just gorgeous and gorgeously packed, I'm going to have her shop down below. Um, and I also know that she just started a YouTube channel. I think she just has one video on there right now, but I'm going to post that below too because, um, yeah, you might want to go check her out. And um, <coughs> sorry, guys, I'm kind of getting over like this cold thing. And she, I know that um, I was asking her some questions about how she made her um, her paper bases here because I thought that was like a genius idea so that you can just use what you have here. And um, I was trying to talk her, I was telling her that she should make like a tutorial on this because she was letting me know that she would have been okay with me sharing this process here or like this idea. Um, in my bohemian kit, uh, bohemian bead tutorial, but I didn't include it because I was just like, well, that's her thing. Like this is her little secret. This is her 
her part of her process and I didn't want to share that I wanted to give her the chance to be able to share that because everyone's into making these beads and it's awesome to know several different ways to make them so I don't know if she's gonna make that video but maybe if we all go subscribe to her we can be like show us the way you do it <laughs> um, so let's see what else um, I also got a ton of goodies and like baby things from Jennifer and I'm just gonna do this kind of quick because I just talked for five years but um she sent me a ton of things that I can use like in my baby scrapbook whoops and it's so many little pieces that I'm not gonna take it all out but I did want to take a second to say thank you thank you so much Jennifer there's all kinds of goodies in here and just like all kinds of baby she must have made like a baby journal at some point or something like that so super cute thank you so much I also got a really nice package from a viewer and um, they mentioned that I didn't need to share it in a video. They just wanted to send it to me to say thank you. And so even though I'm not sharing it, I just wanted to say thank you because this person's anonymous and it was just a really, really, really sweet happy mail package. So you know who you are if you sent that to me. Thank you so much. So um, one more thing I wanted to mention, I already opened it and dispersed it into my kits, but I bought like a couple dozen or I think around that of these crochet hand crocheted doilies and these are going in my bohemian kits my kits might have already been up by the time this video is coming up because I pre-film but either way I thought these were so gorgeous and just to know that these are hand stitched and everyone's getting one in their kit I'm so excited um, it was by a shop on Etsy called granny's heritage and she has all kinds of doilies you guys it's amazing but I also wanted to say that I also got some of the doilies that are going in the kits are from Robin from Turtle Creations for You on Etsy, or sorry, on YouTube. Some of you know Robin. And then I also, I got them from so many different places because I needed like 200. Um, I also got a ton, this is just one example, um, from Stephanie from Above Par Crafts. So uh, thank you to everyone who kind of helped me get to the amount that I needed and um, I'll try to post all these links down below hopefully I do you guys know I just really like to be able to share shops and YouTube channels when it's from someone that I really like stand behind and trust and think is worth you going to check out um, I honestly do not mention shops or um, YouTube channels that I'm not like 100% like standing behind so I do I am very selective. It might not seem like it because I share so much with you guys, but I am selective on who I share and who I tell you to go check out. So, okay, I got some things from Amazon. Some of it's kind of boring, but again, if you have a shop or something, it might be beneficial to you. Um, <clears throat> a lot of times I will use free packaging from the post office, almost always actually. However, like I want to be able to send some of my items in manila envelopes and they can be expensive, but from Amazon it's not bad I got this um, 100 pack and I don't remember the prices but I really like the quality of these honestly sometimes when you buy packaging online or from Amazon it's cheap and flimsy but these ones are really nice and um, I yeah I really like them so I got those but definitely use the free packaging when you can um, yeah, sometimes I'm just not able to find the sizes I need. Um, and I'm also not doing flat rate things, so I don't need that. But anyways, I also got some craft bags. These are so cute for packaging your things up. There's 200. Again, I don't remember the prices, but I'm going to try to have links down below for you guys. Then I decided to get my tape on Amazon this time because holy moly, my last spring kit... I was buying tape just one at a time as I needed it from the post office and you guys I, I probably spent like a hundred dollars just in tape for all the 300 kits that I sent out um, so yeah way better deal to get it on Amazon so now I'm set uh, let's see here I get my book rings from Amazon as well these are three quarters of an inch and um, if you're curious what I use these for, I use these for tassels. So of course you guys probably don't need a hundred of them, but if you are looking to buy in bulk, again, it's a great deal. I like these ones. I've never had an issue with them like breaking apart or anything like that. Next, I got some cute packaging. Let me open it up here. I got 
I actually got like four packs here. They each have 50. Um, these were, this ends up being a little expensive for packaging, you know, for my kits, but they were so pretty. And I think it's like $6.99 for 50, but when you need, I needed like 250. It definitely adds up, but I thought these were going to be really cute to send my fabric packs in. I also think I'm going to use these um, for the fabric that's going in my main kits. I'm not sure yet, but I think so. So I'm really happy with those. Super cute. And then the last thing was kind of random. I used up all of the embroidery floss I needed, and I even got some from Selena um, in my Bohemian kits, but I needed some for myself and then like a couple more for, I think for the kits maybe. And so I bought a big pack here and it was a good deal. It was like, I think it was like $9.99 for a hundred of them or something. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm not going to open it up, but anyways, you can see it's just, it's all different colors here. So I was happy to find that in bulk, but that's everything that I wanted to share with you guys. Kind of a random little haul here and happy mail, you know, haul. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I will have some extra time to get back into more fun tutorials and, you know, craft with me videos and things like that. But I just have to be able to come on here and just chat with you guys and say hello. So that's why these videos, they work good. So I will see you guys later. Have a good day.